Hey, it's Jason. Welcome to WordPress Foundations. This is Module 2, Setup and Installation. This video is titled Editing WP-Config.php. Now that you've created a database, a user, and gave that user full permissions over the database, the next step is to give WordPress the details so it can go about running your blog. Back a couple of sections ago, I had you decompress the WordPress.zip file. If you haven't yet, then do so now. Inside the main folder, you're going to see a file called wp-config-sample.php. What you need to do is rename it to wp-config.php, then open it up in a text editor of your choice, preferably one of the ones I recommended earlier in this training module. The next part can be a bit tricky, so what I'm going to do is walk you through editing this file, showing you what you should edit and where you should put it. Once you are done, all you need to do is click save and you're ready to start uploading. Right now you should have the wp-config.php file open and looking at it as we go through this training. There are two small sections that we need to change and I'm going to dedicate one video slide to each part of that. So let's go ahead and get started. First up you're going to see the line define db name and then you're going to see put your db name here. I went ahead and bolted this section so it will more easily stand out. What you need to do is input the name that you created in the last section. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and continue. Next, you're going to see the prompt for the database username. So in the section titled username here, this is where you're going to put the user that you created in the last section. Now, you're going to see the part for the password. This is where you're going to put the password for the user we created in the last section. And lastly, where you see local host, this is where we put the DB host name. Most of the time you will not be changing this part at all. If you need to, you'll need to check with your hosting provider to find out what to put. They should have this in the FAQ or on their support form. It could be something as simple as mysql.domain.com. Next you need to scroll down a bit and look for the section on the following slide. What you want to do is identify these four lines right here. The auth key, the secure auth key, the login key, and the ones key. Once you find this section, what you're going to need to do is visit the following website on the next slide. If I was you, I'd go ahead and highlight these right now and just continue. Visit api.wordpress.org forward slash secret dash key forward slash 1.1. When you do this, you're going to be presented with a code similar to what you just saw, except you're going to have, your, you're going to have a unique code display there. WordPress will automatically generate this and it really helps secure your site. The reason you're going to want to do this is to provide an extra layer of security on your site. Failure to do so will make your site so much more vulnerable to attack. This process takes less than 10 seconds to implement and the payoff is huge. Once you finish this two-step process, save the file and continue on to the next section where we'll start and install the blog. I hope you've enjoyed this video and after you've completed this section, Continue on and we'll finish up in the next section.